you know, we are here to extract the signal from the noise and share that with you. And one of the hottest areas that people are most interested in, and it's not talked about uh, in the mainstream circles enough, and that's security. Meg Whitman yesterday in her keynote highlighted security as a key part of it. And she's, she put out some pretty scary, uh, you know, factoids around it, around breaches, security, and obviously we, we see in the mainstream press the NSA prism uh, kind of leak and that whole scene going down, it creates a lot of awareness. And obviously, uh, security is top of mind for enterprises. They have to secure their data and have compliance and, and be secure for their employees and their business data. So with this, we have access data here. Chad Gailey and Alan Taylor, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, Hi, glad to be here. So uh, let's talk about um, uh, you guys first, then we'll get into some of the security conversations because uh, I know you guys are privy to a lot of security discussions uh, uh, that's confidential, but in general, some security trends, we'll talk about that in a minute, but um, we have some exclusive news here on theCUBE, um, going to be announced later, it's under embargo. Um, so let's uh, get right to the uh, the news. Talk about talk about your company and let's talk about the, the, the news. Sure, yeah, so thanks for having us on. Uh, Access Data, we are a leader in cybersecurity and e-discovery forensics technology. Uh, we've been around since 1987. We started out as uh, in a point solution of uh, forensics and investigations. And have since expanded our portfolio uh, to be, uh, you know, one of the industry leaders in the space. Um, we're here at the HP conference because we are uh, a long-standing partner with HP, not only in the Enterprise Security Services Group, the old EDS organization, uh, but also in the product side. So we partner in, uh, with both ArcSight and uh, Enterprise Services. Um, we are pleased uh, to announce that we have been chosen as HP's Partner of the Year uh, for security uh, for 2013. So we are, you know, their their top-ranked, stamped global partner in that aspect. So what does that mean? It's top Partner of the Year. I mean, obviously, they have a lot of partners, um, and and what does that mean? Obviously, security, uh, they have you know channel partners and integrators and whatnot. What does that mean, Partner of the Year? I think I think you know, uh, John. It, it's there's a number of things that bring us to that point, you know. But we we've shown some true innovation in the area of, of cyber security and forensics, and more importantly, we've won some very big, large marquee accounts over the last few months. Some of these uh, are fairly hush hush and highly confidential clients, but we're rolling out these joint solutions that we've built with HP to some very very large customers globally. And, and that's certainly when you start to win two or three of these very large projects, it really gets people's attention uh, and, and you know, it starts to... So business the, performance as well as product leadership. Yeah, and, and I think innovation, Meg talked about innovation yesterday. I think what we're doing is different uh, and it has to be different because some of the traditional ways of managing cyber today are just not working. And there's there's a term out there that's uh, that HP's kind of coined, which is calling um, there's always a uh, there's always someone building a better idiot, right? And what that means is essentially is you know the protections you have today uh, are not always going to be uh, valuable or uh, impenetrable for tomorrow. So you may think that what you have today in the way of malware and threat detection uh, is is good and safe, but you're either going to have an internal employee who's an idiot, or your or the software and the uh, services you have are are idiots, right? So they're going to break, and you're going to be uh, you're vulnerable. Yeah. So let's talk about uh, the uh, before we get into the vulnerability. Let's talk about HP. I see Meg Whitman and Dave Donatelli here on the Cube mention that they want HP to be known as a company that's easy to do business with. Yeah. Um, they've had a long history in the channel partners, uh, from resellers, distributors, to integrators, to you know joint developments, ISVs, etc. You guys are kind of in, a, in an area of security. That's important. Um, what has changed since Meg's been on board? And compare and contrast, why is HP easy to work with? Yeah. Uh, what are the things that they're working on? What are the challenges that, that they have? And what are the opportunities? Right, and uh, you know, that's a great question. And being in this space for a long time and working with not only HP for 15 years, but McAfee and Microsoft and all the, all the big uh, you know, partners out there, uh, HP has not always been the best and, and easiest to work with, right? They're a giant company, lots of BUs, they're, they're all over the place, you have to work with uh, any side of each organization. Since Meg's come on, uh, they've done a lot of consolidation of their, of their business units. A lot of their organizations from marketing to partnering to products uh, have, have all come under uh, singular or, or consolidated umbrellas. And I would say that, you know, not only because we're here, but it is, we're here because we believe in HP, we've seen it ourselves, 
the agility in which they've been working with us. You, you have direct access to executives like you never had before. Uh, you have direct access to product development, code integration, which is important for a software company that you never had before at this level. Uh, and then some of the, the leaders that they're bringing in from outside of the company, um, Arthur Wong, for example, in the Enterprise Services Organization, he's only been here a month and the man's already making massive changes within the organization to consolidate and, and make it easier to do business with. So as the partner side of the world, we feel that and we see that, and it helps us build and invest in, in their partnership. So HP gets it, you think? Yes. Yeah, and they're not only saying it, I'm, I'm here to tell you they are doing it, so, which is nice. Great, great. It doesn't always happen that way. Well, I mean, HP needs to have leverage their partnerships and their channels and their, whether it's direct or indirect, I mean, it's now an integrated world. I mean, Kevin Bacon on this keynote talked about the zero degrees of separation. Yeah. That's the world that uh, it will soon be flat, as they say the world is flat. Um, that's great. Any other comments about the, the the partnership? I mean, and for the folks who aren't in the details of HP, there's a lot of kind of you know rumors going around. There's always misinformation. Uh, some of the press don't necessarily do it, do dig deep on, on HP. And you know, we had autonomy step up to the microphone. So you know, share uh, some color around uh, what HP has done specifically and what's going on within the company. Yeah. I, th I think in, in our space of security, you, you can see the massive investment that they're making, both in people and resource and, and just the whole thing around security. They're really taking it seriously. If you take many of the components that make up this kind of end-to-end -end solution to fight cybercrime, you know, they've got all the key components, both the compute power, the storage for big data, the storage for our stuff, uh, and then bringing some of their leading products like ArcSight together with our cyber technologies is just you know the whole you know recipe for it for great success. Really, but you think they're positioned well? Yes. For security? Yes, very much. So. Uh, yeah, and we're you know obviously we're under embargo on some things, but I can tell you that there's there's things that HP uh, under under the you know Arthur's leadership they're working on that that because we partner with a lot of partners in the, in the space, uh, they're light years ahead uh, of what, what their competitors are doing. Well, I mean, obviously security is a, is a big issue. Let's talk about, you know, uh, enterprise security. I mean, e-discovery is a market segment that's been around for a while. It's always yeah. exploding. Um, information management is now kind of what you hear the storage guys talking about. You don't usually hear, you know, David Scott, um, these storage vendors. They usually talk spindles, disk capacity, how much can you store, tiering, a lot of geeky stuff, but now, that is shifting to data management, data protection, disaster recovery, you know, data management, access to data. So, you know, yep. that's a huge problem and a complex problem within an enterprise, just little things like compliance. Is that something that's changing fast? Is it getting worse? Is it getting better? Can you guys comment uh, anecdotally around you know, some of those compliance? <laughs> you, know, you can look at the news, right? Yeah. I mean, every, day, every day on the news there's something talking about this topic. And what you see on the news is is the tip of the iceberg, right? It's there's what you don't hear about is the scary stuff, right? So, um, did you want to comment? Yeah, on? yeah. I think I think the world that we've probably lived in for a long time is that proactive. God, have had a breach. I think we've got some fraud, there's some advanced persistent threats going on, and and you know the customers are bringing in the big four auditing firms to to or you know and even HP for that emergency breach. I think what we're seeing from a large amount of enterprises is is, is creating a, a proactive framework and platform that says, you know, we're not sitting around waiting to be breached, but we're going to put some controls in place and best practices, uh, and even bring it in-house to start actually managing this stuff rather than just waiting for that inevitable breach that we know is going to happen sometime. You know, when, when something bad happens, right, when, when, when you come home from dinner and your, your back door is kicked in, right, to, to use an analogy, you then realize it would have been nice to have a, 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 an alarm system, right? Yeah. And people go through that, whether it be on the legal side and, and e-discovery or whether you go through uh, all the way on the cyber, you know, malware and threats uh, on that side of the house. It's something people don't want to go through again once they've experienced it for the first time. So that's where we're seeing customers getting the market maturing in that space. So talk about some of the, the uh, any stats you can throw out there, just as data points for yeah. uh, around threats, levels of threats, what, what people do to find it. It's almost as if we've created so much complexity, <laughs> just to wade through the complexity that's creating more uh, barriers to do good security. Yeah. So we were always talking about, Dave Vellante, we were always talking about is, should we just do it over? Like, sorry, just throw it all away and start from scratch? 
Um, what are some data points you can share and then yeah, comment yeah, about? Yeah, what, one that's very interesting that I talked about yesterday. There's a there's a recent report on uh, one of the data breach investigation reports that came out about a month ago. Uh, over 66 percent of these incidents or breaches are actually n not even known about for several months in some of these organizations. So these organizations are continuing to do business and they've got malware, they've got advanced persistent threats in their enterprise. And, and something like 14% uh, of those incidents are, are not even contained for weeks. And 22% of those are not contained for months. Uh, we had one customer who phones us up saying, uh, Thursday morning, I've got a new malware. Well, you know, funnily enough, McAfee just uh, changed their signatures on Wednesday night, and all of a sudden, the HP technology finds that they've got a new, uh, a new piece of malware. Well, hang on, guys, you didn't get it Thursday morning. That malware's probably been in your enterprise for the last three months, and the fact that your signature's just been <laughs> updated. Yeah, now so you know I mean, they, their back doors literally kicked in, they don't even know it. That's yeah, right. Exactly. So, let's That's right. so our, our job then, you know, with HP is, is how quickly not do we recognize there is an event or a breach, but more importantly, how quickly can we remediate that? This that, is that real breach. stuff. This isn't just fear mongering. No. This is like stuff that's happening. <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll read the newspaper, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, the NSA thing certainly yeah. puts uh, metadata in mainstream uh, lingo. I mean, in the New York Times headline, metadata, metadata. I mean, that's interesting, right? So, like, you know, there's data about the data and the security on security. And so we're layering on more and more security. So the question is, you know, what is the answer? Is it a do over? Do we integrate? Do we, you know, I mean, it's complex. Yeah, I, I think do over is very difficult. And I think, you know, the, the, the programs that HP have, you know, that we are part of, the HP Alliance One program, the Protect program, we go through a fairly strong validation and verification process with those guys. So we're proving out our integration before we even get onto the customer site. So that's very powerful that we're proving out this integration you know, ahead of time. So when we do get that breach, we know what we're doing. So HP's serious about security. Congratulations on winning Partner of the Year in security. Um, we're looking forward to keeping in touch. I see Mark Hopkins and I were just talking, you met with Mark. Um, we're very interested maybe following up on, obviously we publish a lot around you know, tech, we'd like to do more uh, security in-depth analysis and, and reporting. So uh, it's great to see you guys you know, getting in there, getting dirty with the security, but uh, more importantly, helping HP yeah. build out a world-class security solution. Obviously, you know, that's a key pillar, big data, mobile, cloud, security, all good stuff. This is HP Discovery here with all Access Data here inside theCUBE, exclusive news, partner of the year that's going to be announced tonight. A little bit of breaking news early. I'm sure the headline's <laughs> going to start rolling and getting calls already. I saw your phone ringing. Um, this is theCUBE, I'm John Furrier. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break. Thanks, John. Thanks, John.